Hey everyone, Steve with Dana Manufacturing here. And what we're going to be doing today in the video is showing the proper installation and operation method of the telescopic fill and drain fittings. Now the only tool you're going to need for this installation is going to be a regular hand drill along with a standard inch and a quarter cold saw. Now, the parts that come included in the kits are the two and a half inch long fill and drain screens, a half inch barb fill fitting, a three quarter inch long drain fitting, a pair of lock nuts, a pair of rubber gaskets, along with an eight inch long drain screen. Now the kit is supplied with both the eight inch long drain screen as well as the two and a half inch long fill and drain screen. Now if you need something that's in between these two, this eight inch long drain screen can simply be cut using a hacksaw to get the determined length that you'd like, somewhere between the two and a half and the eight inch long screen. Along the interior wall of the drain fitting, we have four channels that travel down to the bottom of the fitting. Along the exterior surface of the fill and drain screen, we have four ribs that protrude outward. Once these four ribs are lined up with the four channels in the drain fitting, the part can move freely in and out. But once the parts are turned either clockwise or counterclockwise, the parts lock in place. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I've already pre-drilled the holes in my flood table. Now the location of the holes is going to be dependent on where you have your flood table located, if there's any obstruction in a shelving unit or any cross members that don't allow you to put the hole in any other location. These two holes seem to work in this location for us for this demonstration. So what we're going to do is take our three quarter inch drain fitting, install a flat rubber gasket just below the flange of the drain fitting. Insert it through the hole of your flood table. Push that all the way through. Take your nut and having the flat side with the serrations on it, put it onto the thread and snug it up. We do the same with the half inch fill fitting. Remember, always put your rubber gasket on the wet side of the application. So that would always be from the top side. Again, we put our nut from the bottom and fasten it. For the drain side, you can just take a piece of standard three quarter inch ID tubing, push it onto your bob fitting, and that's going to drain into your reservoir. On your fill side, you put a piece of standard half inch ID tubing, slide that onto your bob fitting, attach the opposite end of the half inch tubing to the box fitting on your pump. With the installation complete of the fill and drain fittings, the drain tube on the drain fitting, and the pump on the fill side, we now install our fill and drain screens. We'll install the fill screen on the side with the pump, leave it standing up about half inch to three quarters of an inch and slightly twist it rotationally. On the drain side is where you set your height adjustment depending on how high you want your water level. Once you've selected your level, do a quarter of a turn onto the drain side and what that'll do is allow your water height to be the height of the bottom of the drain screen. Now once your pump is turned on, you'll allow your flood table to fill with water. It'll start to drain once it reaches the bottom level of the drain screen. And we'll see that 
as the water starts filling the flood table and draining back into the reservoir. And there you have it. That's the entire installation and operation of telescopic foam drain screens for your ebb and flow flood table.